What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's me Andrew here and today we're going to be looking at a new piece of software, well it's not really new, it's been around for a while, I just discovered it, and it's called Specy or Specy, I'm not sure how to pronounce it properly, um, but it is made by Pureform, the same people who brought you the infamous C Cleaner. Um, that's just my attempt at being dramatic, but anyways, uh, Specy right here, and what this program does is it allows you to monitor your computer settings, so it is like, um, it's like, let's say, GPU-Z, and hardware monitor, and CPU-Z, all in one, but it just gives you less information about each, but we will get into that, so, uh, the download link will be in the description, go ahead, download it, install it, like a regular application, run it and then you get to this very cool looking user interface I'm gonna stretch it out so you guys can see and zoom in alright so um, first tab you see summary and under summary you see what type what OS you have and you can click to expand it to see pretty much everything that you have from time zone to which Java version to Internet Explorer version net framework, um, net framework installed um, Windows Defender a whole bunch of other cool stuff so yeah and then you also have that's what else do you have under this under summary you also have how much your CPU information you can go back and see how many cores each is running at? You guys can tell mine is running at 4.2 gigahertz, and it's at 41 degrees Celsius right now. And um, yeah, so the first thing is summary. You get the operating system information. You get the CPU information, the RAM information. So how much RAM you have? I got 12 gigs right now. DDR3 RAM and dual cha dual channel memory, and um, the motherboard you have and this is pretty pretty cool because say you want to find out what motherboard you have and you don't know the model number and you are an absolute noob or say you bought a OEM computer okay and you do not know um, what the model number of your motherboard is you can just use this application it tells you pretty much everything from the chipset to the vendor to everything everything and how much uh, voltage your CPU is using, etc. And then you can go to graphics section and it tells you your monitor name and a whole bunch of stuff. So you guys get the point. I'm going to skip to hard drive. Again, a lot of information here. And then optical drive. I only have two. Actually, I only have one, but I have a virtual uh, drive that I'm using with um, Daemon Tools. So optical drive, audio. So all these sound cards that I have, and um, yeah, what else? Peripherals, so your keyboards, your mouse, your controllers, your headsets, anything that is not inside your computer, and it's not your monitor or anything like your webcam, everything, printers, that's all considered peripherals, and um, yeah, you can go to network and see the name of your um, your card, your IP address, subnet max, a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, I'm going to blur out this part so you guys can't see it. Uh, so what else? What else? Yeah, your name, thing. It, it's, it's pretty much it's simple. It's like uh, you can also load snapshots and save snapshots and save XML files and a whole bunch of other stuff. This is pretty much more comprehensive and it's much u much more user friendly like let's say a program like CPU Z it's much more user friendly than this uh because well it's just it's it's geared towards people who are not as the on the advanced level yet so if you're just an average joe this program will will help you out a lot um like with CPU Z it gives you this interface and you can just look around but with this when you just click on CPU it gives you all the information you need about everything so yeah that is pretty much the overview of Specy by Pureform it is a free application and you can pay for a professional version of this but eh, that's the same thing all the, the difference between the professional and this one is that it automatically updates itself when a new version is out so that has been it guys, if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Later.